Hi, this is Ushio. Welcome back to Spiritfarer. In the last episode, we had two people join our boat. However, I do believe that they might well be the last two people to join us on our journey on this boat. Also, we got a new dash move, and this has made uh, Eleanor, her name is, very happy. You seem to be in top physical shape. Now, the real challenge can start. I've marked a few locations on your map. You need to find these challenges and conquer them. I will be watching you, analysing your every move. Go. What? we got to do some missions. Okay. But that's something for me to think about. First, I've got a more pressing, much more serious issue to sort out. And that is Stanley. Stanley has asked to leave. I've been ignoring it for a while because... I don't know, he's, he's a cute character, and I'm sad to see him go, but we have to respect the decision, and so that's what we're going to go through with. But, oh man, I'm going to miss this kid. So, yeah, you're good at this. And there's there's Buck as well, our, our new person. Sorry, Commander, my short rest has already been taken. Yeah, we don't know anything about this guy, really. He's a mysterious individual. But, okay. Next up, Everdor. This is the serious stuff. But yeah, Stanley, it's it's interesting. Not many games deal tactfully the idea of a, a child dying or passing away, or even what their thoughts on it, on their mortality might be. And the way Stanley talks, it's apparent he is he is quite young and quite naive and fun loving. So it's it's kind of like an extra hint of sadness. A lot of the other characters we've been talking about, they're all they're all grown-ups, they're all adults. Some of them are, are like elderly and they kind of like they can come to like fuller terms when it comes to like the end of their life. Stanley, however, he has like a vague understanding of what it's about, but it's not it's not clear. It's not like a hundred percent because he hasn't got that experience of life. Can we go yet? You decide. Don't make me decide, but yes. This is what you've asked for, and I'm going to respect it. So, here we go. Oh, he's just kind of sliding along there. What happened to your walking animation, dude? But, alright. Stanley got to meet Buck and Eleanor. And Gustav was there for his play. I almost forgot. I liked it when it was just you and me. Doing experiments and running around chasing dust shades. Don't forget to do that sometimes. I won't be there, but I'm sure it's still going to be fun. Oh no, I do not like this. Okay, but this... This is the last of our crew. This is everyone that's left. Okay. Let's get this over with. I feel bad about this one. People could be mean, really mean. Why do they have to be? My mum is mean sometimes, just like your friends after my play. And it makes me sad when people are mean. And sometimes I cry when I'm sad. And then I remember. I remember what my dad used to say. Stanley, people are not really mean. Sometimes their intentions just take the wrong path. I don't hate your friends. They're not bad people. That's what my dad would say. They just do bad things sometimes. I never wanted to let mum down, or make people not like me. I don't want to do bad things, but sometimes I do. And I always regret it. I don't think that makes me bad. Do you think my mum would be disappointed in me? Disappointed that I had to go? I tried. I really tried. But I don't think I did it. I like it when I win, but I couldn't this time. I think it's okay. It's okay to lose sometimes. I really think it is. I'm really trying to be brave, but I'm, I'm really scared. I wish I could be a superhero and never be afraid. I've hoped so much that this was just a nightmare. If this was a nightmare, why can't I wake up? I was trying, trying and trying. I wanted to wake up. I always talked to myself. 
Stanley wants to wake up, but it never worked. I never woke up. It all felt so real, and it made me sad. So sad, I couldn't think of anything other than sadness. <laughs> you take care of Jacob, okay? Jacob is a good beetle, and he was my friend. <laughs> this is exactly like in my play, but this time, I'm the lead actor. I'll put on a good show, I promise. Oh, Stanley. I feel so bad for this kid. I feel strange. I feel cold. I wish Mum was here. And Dad. But you're here, Big Hat. I really like you. I hope it's like falling asleep. Just like the others, he joins them in the sky. Old mushroom head. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that was tough. And we've got a spirit flower, or, you know, mushroom. But that is that. So I think with the spirit flower, isn't there another update we can do? I'm not sure. To the boat, I mean. I'm not sure. Um, yeah. We need to do something else. We need to get out of here. This is a... It's an important, significant place. But it's not somewhere we need to be. Alright, so we have been issued challenges. What is that? Deadly pulse arrays. Wow, that sounds ominous. Is that a new thing? Is that something we've done before? I'm not sure it is. Okay, I guess we'll check that out. And we've been set some missions by Eleanor to do as well. So that is also something we can do. Oh, I see. Complete the gold dragon in under six minutes. Okay, so... This is what we need to do. So Eleanor has set the challenges and that's what we need to find out. So where is the gold, the gold dragon? And we need to do it in less than six minutes. That is the silver dragon. That's the point. Where is the gold dragon? I guess that's something we need to find. So there's either going to be something here or somewhere around the top right corner of the map. Okay, we need to find this dragon. Oh, oh, we found something. Hidden thicket. I, I was just trying to do some hammering. And we ended up in the hidden thicket. I, I cannot... No, 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 don't, don't... Go back, go back, go back. Wait. No. We've we've gone past it by mistake. Go back. Go back. <laughs> Check out the map. Where is it? Yeah, it's right there. It's right there. Okay, I'll take it. I cannot see any dragons. But we'll check out the hidden thicket. Okay, cool. And now that we've made those items as well, does that mean I can do some improvements? Finally! This took a lot of work. One more zinc ingot. That sucks. How about up here? I can get this. A home cinema. That's nice. So I need a couple of crystal glass sheets and one more zinc ingot. And then that's those improvements done as well. However, this is a new thing completely. A hidden thicket. Interesting. How hidden are we talking? Is it just like a bonus area? Or is it mysterious? Or is there someone hiding here? I'm not sure. These are some bad hits. Doesn't matter. We got it now. That is some iron ore. Okay, and that is going to dunk us in the water. So let's go this way. Got all my new powers and stuff. 
Is, is that it? Is that it? Hang on. Maybe, maybe there is something. If I go top speed, anything? Anything. Oh, okay. Oh, God, no. Wait, wait, wait. What? What is here? There's something else. Okay, there's some gold. Alright, and... Go. Hmm. No, that that's it. Okay, so this is intriguing. There's nothing here at all. That's a curious place. It really is. And I don't know what I can take away from that. That is our zinc. And the zinc is something I've desperately been trying to get enough of. And finally, we've got enough. And we can do... Gustav's next piece of his house. So, here we go. Perfect. That is his neoclassical Nordic fireplace. Very cool. So, on the map, have we found anything useful? We have extremely not done that. I guess we'll I guess we'll cut along the bottom. I guess we'll just head on through and keep pushing forward. Student, I used to be a teacher. I still am. Back then, I had a classroom. In the kind of school that made sure each student passed. The kind of school that teaches money can buy everything. And every September, it was full of students ready to learn. Each year, however, they failed to impress me. Chatting amongst themselves, passing glances around, closing their ears and their minds to my lessons. Immature little shits. All of them. Okay, so... Quite a serious individual. Definitely... Definitely not a hugger. So they don't like weird food, do they? How about some pub food? Fried dishes make you sluggish. It makes you lose your focus. So they refuse that. Stimulant? Thank you for the meal. Okay, they'll take that. They're still quite sad. Hmm. Oh, look. I found something you might like. No problem. Have a hug. So it's, it's nice just to have a bit of positive vibes in the middle of all the people getting killed and dying and stuff. It's nice to have just that moment to hug. Oh, they are quite sad. Do you want a hug? Yes, 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 yes. Keep hugging. Okay, we're heading into a zone where I believe this is one of the challenges that Eleanor wants us to do. So, yeah. It's, it's kind of spooky atmosphere and stuff. <laughs> They're saying, let's do it. Okay. So, I guess... I guess we'll have a look. Are you ready for another challenge? They'll be coming from all directions. Steal your mind. Visualise their patterns. Use your dash and light burst abilities. And act. I need to get a third of these things? Okay. I don't quite see how. Oh god. Okay, there's one. Oh, it says at the top right, I need 13. So that is 5. Oh god. 6. 7. 8. Shit. Oh, missed it. Almost missed it. 11. Oh god. No, 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 no. Losing them now. One more, one more, one more, one more. Got it. I got it. Hopefully that's all I need to do. Which, if so, isn't too bad. If that's true, that's not too bad. Okay, nice. Grab all these. If this is like the closest this game is going to get to a challenge mode, that's okay. Because I have... Yeah, my concentration is shot now, and I am now not getting anything. It says... I think I said it needed a third. Alright, dash. I got one. <laughs> it was worth it. It was worth it. But hopefully this is a satisfactory performance. Is it good? Is it good? Does that count? Where do I get my grade? Eleanor calls herself a teacher, but she's not there to give feedback. Where are you? Did that count? 
Uh, talk, talk to Eleanor, yeah. Where are you? She's hiding right at the front. Better. I can see you're sweating a bit. Good. These challenges are supposed to be difficult. You've earned a carrot. Not a literal carrot, but a reward. Here we go. It's in the form of a challenge, however. I've got nothing more to say to you. Feedback over. Okay, thanks. A treasure map? T t tell me about the treasure map. It's been a while since we had one of these. Uh, a treasure map for a lost bounty. 40 minus 50. Okay, something else to do. Also, up here, you can witness my terrible, uh, you know, foundry skills. Because I've got to hit this, but once... Ah, oh, see, I'm terrible. I've, I've never quite understood it. I'm sure it's very obvious, but I didn't quite get it. But that seemed to work fine. And I think that this is what I need to improve. Okay, grab this. Improve this. Yeah. It's a chandelier. That is the end of their house. Their house has been completed. I haven't spoken to them that much, so maybe I've missed a little bit of their story. Hang on. Treasure map. Treasure map, treasure map, treasure map. No, let, let go of that. Let go of that. Uh, 40 minus 50. Okay, so 40 is right over here. 40. And then minus 50. Minus 50. Oh, wow. 40 minus 50. It's a very, very specific point. I got close a little while ago. It's there. Okay. I, I guess that's a cool thing. So, we're going to check out the treasure map. Maybe it's got something nice for us. So, how's the house looking? I'm interested. Oh, wow, this is palatial. This is nice. These guys are kind of hiding in the floor, though. They're, they're not ready to talk to me just yet. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll leave them to it for the time being. How are the chickens doing? Got an egg there. That's kind of cool. Let's, let's pop one in. So gra gradually we'll get more and more eggs as time goes on. Alright, so, oh, what's going on here? Sustenance. Oh, dude is hungry. I, I have some snacks, Dada. Do you want some? Oh, thanks. Toffee and popcorn? Where'd you get the toffee from? You want some cheese? My deepest apologies. I cannot accept your generous offer. As I've crossed paths with him, is it Lactogroth, a knob goblin? Curse me, have jealousy, knob goblin. Wow. A dreadful level 3 lactose intolerance. Yes, it's a conjuration ritual. I won't talk about what happens if I ingest the smallest dose of dairy. Oh, okay. So we've learned something what they don't like. Do you like, uh, stimulant? My deepest apologies. No. Oh, it's because it's got milk in. Oh, that was a bad pick. That was a bad pick. How about... An apple pie. Oh, wait. This sustenance contains fruit, doesn't it? I'm sorry. I unfortunately cannot accept your generous donation. Fruit are sacred according to the holy scriptures of Dor Umin, for which I am a pious follower. It is utterly forbidden to even think about someone thinking about eating one. I cannot ingest them by faith. Yeah, by faith. Eat, eat fruit. That was... You could tell that was some rubbish. Alright, exotic. Humble thanks. There you go. Finally... All these picky eaters. At the start of the game, people would just eat anything. Even Gwen, who was, you know, self-confessed picky eater. And she was fine with it. Alright, so... Wow, there are no bus stops near where I'm supposed to be. Okay, I need to get these coordinates again, because I have forgotten. This is the quickest way to get there, but I have forgotten. Someone wants to talk. Maybe it's because I finished their house. Scout, get in here. Okay, what's up? How you doing? Mickey loves it. This is exactly up his alley. Don't tell him this. But he wanted to upstage Romeo. You wouldn't know him. He's this guy from South Shore. He's got expensive taste. He has this awful mansion. He would boast around town about his house. Mickey hated him. Listen, you've been doing enough running around. We should go somewhere. Take you out and relax a bit. Let me ask Mickey and think of something. Oh, okay. So we're going to go and hang out sometime. That's nice. Also, again, a bit of a foreboding. 
because whenever a character asks us to do something, it's sort of like a last request. So I'm a little bit worried. I haven't got too much out of these guys really in terms of their their stories or maybe how, how they passed away or something like that. So we do have a couple of mysteries about them. Okay, let's cook some corn. Suddenly I've got missions everywhere. Okay, that's cornflakes. I don't want I don't want that. Put that back. Uh yeah, we'll cook that. A new design. Oh Stella, I've received the most amazing submission. This is a design for a clock. One of the strongest symbols of humanity's dedication to rising above its lowly station. For the measuring of time beats the path to its accounting, which in turn allows for long-term planning. When the first humans started this colossal and seemingly pointless task of measuring time, they extracted themselves from the instant, and they stopped surviving as animals. Instead, they started surviving as a species. Humanity was born when the apes decided they would play timekeepers. Oh, sorry, I was got lost in my thoughts. Anyway, I'm quite excited by this new design, and I entrust it to you. Okay, we got our make. Was it a Maxim Minolis clock? Okay, Mickey's got an idea, but first, I want this treasure map or treasure chest or whatever it is. What is it? A rare coin collection. Was that seriously the reward for all that special shit we did? Okay, I'd accept it. Not quite humbly, but I'll accept it all the same. All right, next up, I think we need to go and check out this severe thunderstorm. So yeah, what's the, what's the idea? Don't stop turning around. What's what's up? Apparently, there's this place called Grey Mist Peaks. It shouldn't be far from here. Mickey thinks you're well. We both think you're doing a decent job. Listen, we've been asking a lot from you. Consider this our treat. A little camping trip for your efforts. Some recognition for your discretion in affairs. We've never actually been camping before, but we would do this as a gift for you. Let's go take a look at some rocks and trees and shit. Okay, they want to go camping. That sounds fun, actually. That sounds kind of cool. Yeah, so they've been a bit... I don't know, they're kind of like blunt and rude and they ask us to do stuff. But they've kind of not really... They've not really meddled in our shit. They've not really given us any trouble outside of being a bit grumpy. So they're kind of cool. Actually, where's, where's Buck? What missions do I need to do? I need to go to Edgeborough Lane. Where? Where is that? I need to find that as well. Where's Where's Edgeborough? I've been ignoring Buck too much. It'd be nice if he had a house. Edgeborough? Nope. Nope. Oh, what is that? The gold dragon! There's the gold dragon! Okay, we found it! Wait, hang on. I'm getting... I'm getting... Wait, I'm getting off track. Go, go here. Focus on it. But at least we found it. I still need to find Edgeborough Lane. There's Edgeborough Lane. Okay. So we need to go and buy something over there. Okay, I think we'll do one more challenge. And then we'll go and get Buck's, Buck's item. So I think I think we're doing okay. Or oh, student. I have one memory I particularly cherish. It was one day after a particularly rowdy gym class. They came back to my room, fuming with hormones and desperation. One of my first years on the job. Shaping the minds of the youth, they told me. Anyway, I couldn't control any of them. They wouldn't keep still for a second. I wasn't shaping anything that day. I snapped. I started screaming. It was the only thing those monsters could understand. I told them truths that would only reveal themselves later in their lives. When you lose a parent, when you lose your best friend, when you lose your job, and when you start to really crumble from the inside. After an episode like that, I should have learned a lesson, but I didn't. I vowed to focus on talent and excellence. I vowed to never let go again and steeled my resolve. Wow, so they are completely closed off emotionally. They're, they're not gonna do anything. Oh, these guys want some food, I betcha. Yeah. I think because they're such picky eaters, like, that's why I kind of ignore them. Do you want some rice pudding? Is that any good? Yeah, good stuff. But we're coming up to our next challenge. I was a bit worried when I read the instructions. It said that you need to do a third of everything that comes at you. But it was actually not too bad. And I was able to do it first time out. And it wasn't too tricky. So I'm not I'm not going to say I'm, I'm confident. But I'm hoping... Generally the game hasn't 
really been one to throw challenges at you out of nowhere. So hopefully it's it's like fair and it gives you like an achievable goal, not not something that's just going to be really, you know, I don't want to have to do it 20 times just to get lucky the one time. Okay, we are really close. So let's find Elena and they will tell us what's up. Where are they? They're kind of skiddy, so they could be hiding behind any old thing. All right, give, give me these apples first. But we're virtually there. I can see that timer at the top left. Almost at the end of the line. Because we want to get hit by lightning and stuff. Seems like a bad idea, but this is this is the plan. Here we go. Well, you're hiding at the top. Student. Another challenge. This is an easy one. A little bit of rain and thunder. I won't see this often. Your survival probability is kind of higher. Just don't hit your guard down. You won't end up like grilled chicken. Remember, use your dash ability in there. You'll need to move really fast. Heads up. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. So, I need to be somewhere. So, where where's this thunder at? Oh, it's coming already. I need 17 of these things. And I am... Oh god, I am messing up. Okay, grab... Okay, it's a start. It's a start. Okay, grab that. Oh god, quickly. Three. I need a bunch more. A bunch more. Nope. Nope. Got it. Quickly. Okay, five. Six. Seven. Oh, I've got to get loads more. These are really spread out. Because the boat's so big now, these thunderbolts are all over the shop. Okay, quickly. Okay, we're up to ten. Up to ten. Eleven. Twelve. Uh, over here. Over here. Thirteen. Fourteen. Fifteen. you got to pick your battles. Pick your battles. Sixteen. One more. One more. 17. Ah, oh, yeah. Feels good. The cat got hit. The cat got hit. It doesn't count. <laughs> the cat being hit doesn't count. It should. Oh, that was close. That was close. But we made it. What did we end up with? 18? Wow. Oh, that was closer than what I thought. I thought I was just in time with a bit to spare, but it wasn't a lot at all. And time. Not bad. I wouldn't put it on the leaderboard or you on a podium. But yeah, you've got some sudden. This should be a good reward for you. I don't have anything else. Scram. Another treasure map. So where's this treasure map? 3469. Okay. But yeah, this, this boat's gotten quite big. It takes a long time to get around now. I've forgotten already. What was it? 34... 3469. Okay. Where are we? 34. Hang on. No, minuses. So, let's go th 34 first. Oh, wow, it is a long way. 34. And then 69. It's, it's somewhere near the shark. It's somewhere near the shark. Okay. I think we need to get out of here. Let's, let's take the bus and we'll go and check that out as well. We've been asked to build this clock, actually. I've been forgetting. Gustav asked us to do something. We need... We've got marble. We've got gold. A crystal glass sheet and a rose gold sheet. Rose gold. How do you make that? Rose gold is gold and copper. Okay. And a crystal glass is zinc and silica. We can do all of this. I'm worried that I'm neglecting Buck, actually. I'm sorry, guy. I'm sorry. i got to get you your house. He's sleeping out in the rain. So, I definitely need to take better care of this guy. Because at the minute, I'm failing him. Maybe we'll do that now, actually. Maybe we'll do that now. Yep, yeah, change of plan. We're not doing the... We're not doing a thing. We're not going to go for that treasure just yet. We want to get to Edgebra Lane. The nearest stop is... Uh... Here? Yeah, let's go with this one. So, yeah, if we can get Buck a house then I'll feel less guilty. I've been focusing way too much on Eleanor and Eleanor, I don't know. They're not super affectionate or super appreciative of what, of what we're doing. They're kind of dismissive in tone. Whereas Buck 
is fully on board. So yeah, I think I think they deserve a bit of love, a bit of attention. So that that is kind of cool. All right, let's keep going. I am also about to finish up, I think, on Gustav's house. Okay, hit this thing. One day I'll get the timing. Today is not that day. And uh, maybe the day will never come. But we're going to hit. And I'm going to get this. Connor, just, just, just hit it. Just hit it. Whatever. This is fine. It's fine, right? No problem. No, it's a problem. It's a problem. <laughs> oh, this must be so aggravating to people who actually know what they're doing with this game. But this is the one thing I just can't get my head around. Got it. Beautiful. That is a rose gold sheet. Nice work. So let's do this improvement. It is a maximum minimalist clock. Okay, marble, gold, crystal glass sheet, and a rose gold sheet. It's done. It is done. Quick, Stella. Gustav is super happy about it. I'm hoping. Look at this. They don't sit in the seat. Talk to the man. There you are. Wow. It is with great pride and unbridled joy that I present to you humanity's legacy, my finest exhibition yet. Not too bad, don't you think? An official opening? Oh, no, no, no. You know how I am. The spotlight is not for me. And besides, vernissages are a waste of time. Nothing but an opportunity for officials to run around, licking each other's... Well, you know what I mean. Well then, I entrust all of this to your good care. I know I can trust in you after I'm gone. Uh -huh. Oh, don't act surprised. You know very well, I'm not the one to hang around longer than necessary. And I'm pretty confident I've done all I could here. Uh -huh. Good old Gustav, always looking ahead. But it was quite exhilarating, this whole endeavour, wasn't it? Uh -huh. Well, as soon as you pass by the ever door, be a love and drop me off. It will be appreciated. Oh no! Gustav's got to go! Gustav's gonna go. Oh. He's currently a longest serving member of the boat. So, it's his turn next. So, that's something we're gonna be doing next time. But this time, there's still a bit more I wanna do this time. I wanna find this shop. And if I can buy this item that I've been asked to get, isn't it a blueprint for Buck's house? Oh, I've, I've got the dash. This will get us there quicker, right? Oh, there he is. Yo. So, Bucks, Lair of Wonders is cheap. I'll take it. Is there anything I can sell while I'm here? Oh, wow, I've still got... Oh, man. Yeah. I've still got Stanley's drawings. Feels bad, man. Feels bad. Okay. Well, we have got Bucks' blueprint. I wonder what we need to be able to build that. But this is, yeah, fulfilling the tasks only puts you on a road to sadness and separation. It's an unusual dynamic that the game kind of drives you toward. Okay, can, can we build? Oh, perfect. Buck wants to chat. Yes, I can feel its venerable magic throwing through my nostrils. Its perfume possesses the distinct aromas of lilac and elderberries. Look at it. Cryptic runes, silvery ornaments. Without a shadow of a doubt, the scroll is written in the ancient language of Nangadan. Make a knowledge roll. 18. Fantastic. Your success indicates you can read Nangadian proficiently. Commander, let yourself be guided by its enchanted instructions. Once the house is built, I can finally read the rest of the scenario. Once the layer is erected, I will rest at last. I will have the power to pierce through the ethereal veil and communicate with the elemental powers. My humble fate lies in your hands. I don't know, he's kind of speaking in riddles like a Dungeons and Dragons thing. Uh, another passenger, another house. From the sounds of it, this one's complicated. Is it complicated? What do we need? Uh, pine, clear glass sheets and slate. I do have it. I've just got to make some clear glass slates. So that'll be fine. Okay, that should do it. I think we can build like a place to live. We're going to check this out. Alright, drop. Build. Buck's Lair of Wonders. Okay, let's let's tuck it just here. 
That should make him happy, right? Alright. So, oh, he's already asleep in there. He's already in there with all his fun things that he likes. Uh, I guess we're going to do a little bit more in the next episode. I think we finally got all of our characters. And they finally got all of their homes. So now hopefully we can do all of their tasks and help them reach their, their natural conclusions. Gustav has already requested that he can go. So this is what we're going to do in the next episode. This is Usho signing off and hopefully I will see you next time.